brutalized by the police because of an open container. Well, there's a lawsuit now as predicted. Let me remind you of what happened. Here it is. Put up his picture. I'm going to give you the background and the update. We covered this story about a year ago. Marin County Gardner Julio Lopez is now filing a federal rights lawsuit after police assaulted him over an open beer. San Rafael officers brutalized the migrant gardener over a damn beer bottle. There's additional footage that shows Mr. Lopez being restrained and bleeding out on the asphalt. Here it is. Put up the pictures. It's a damn shame. Uh, these individuals who call themselves police officers lack decent humanity. Now, former officers Brandon Nail and Daisy Mazarigos were charged with assault by an officer under color of law or authority and making false statements on a crime or criminal report in June. In an interview with ABC7, Lopez's legal team said, quote, uh, Julio's rights were violated in a very violent way. Going back to the founding of our country and the Bill of Rights, we all have the right against excessive force, unreasonable searches and seizures. And uh, that comes, excuse me, from the Fourth Amendment. At the time of the initial incident, this was your police chief for that jurisdiction, okay, David Spiller. David Spiller released an open letter to the community about the altercation where he actually took full responsibility and that the department would be conducting an investigation into it. The quote is this, I am both personally and professionally concerned about this incident and how it impacts the trust our department has worked hard to build in this community. I want to ensure all members of the San Rafael community that not only is this incident being critically examined, but we will examine our behaviors, including that of our leadership. And for those department members that have fallen short, they will be held accountable. A department spokesperson said the department would not comment on the pending litigation via email. City attorney Robert Epstein has also failed to make any public statement about the suit. A court date for the two officers has been scheduled for next month. We will be following that court case. Jackson thoughts. Yeah, I definitely hope that the court case continues to go in the favor of this man. Um, I mean, essentially she was, they, well they, both of them were telling him to sit on his hands and put them up at the same time. And they know it, you know what I mean? Like how, how are you gonna take your wallet out if you're sitting on it or whatever that may be? Not to mention, uh, not, not only was he unarmed, but he's a little he's a little guy, like he's not even a big man. So the, it, there, he just wasn't a threat whatsoever. But just example after example after example that we see of police officers using violence 
because they just want to. And there's no question that whatsoever, no question. The only question for us is what are we gonna do about it on the local level? Because this just won't get handled federally. We have to get more involved in community politics, whether that be getting involved in sheriff elections, defense attorneys, all of those people. We have to get more involved and know who's on city council. Otherwise, we don't really know what's happening. We don't know who's calling the shots. We don't know who's running the show. And I'm guilty of that myself. Like I live in New Jersey, so there's a lot of townships. You might move here and now you don't know who's there. So we always gotta pay more attention to what's happening in our backyards. That's right, we gotta be intentional. These individuals have direct policy authority over our way of life. Okay.